So we're going to start off with what the meaning of world order is. If we could all turn to the next page. Um, we have the meaning of world order. To give you an idea, I've gone to a few different sources to try and find what world order means. So the Oxford Dictionary defines world order as a noun. It's a system of controlling events in the world, especially a set of arrangements established internationally for preserving global stability. Uh, the Macmillan Dictionary defines it as a singular noun, the political, economic or social situation in the world at a particular time and the effect that this has on relationships between different countries. Um, Urban Dictionary is undefined. I did, try and, I did try and define it, but they rejected my joke definition of something that the Legal Studies HSC course requires you to define, and they uh, said, no, we will not accept this as a definition. I think the best definition you guys can go with, those first two are good to give you a bit of an idea of what some broader definitions are. The textbook definition is the way in which global events and circumstances are influenced by the major actors in the world. Okay. Um, and um, I would go with the last one. But the first two are good to give you a bit of context as well. So I've tried to give you a few different definitions. If you're looking to give an actual definition, um, that's the one straight out of the textbook. I would go with that one because it's context specific. Okay. But I have given you all three just to give you an idea. So we also have a couple of definitions. First one is international law. International law is defined as the universal system of rules and principles concerning the relations between sovereign states and relations between states and international organizations such as the UN. So it's not just between two states, it's between two states, it's also between a state and an international organization. Um, the modern system of international law began in 17th century Europe, um, and it now includes almost every country yeah. on earth. Okay, let's move on. So the next definition um, is, and you guys will want to know the context to all of this, is the Cold War. That was a state of hostility without actual or hot war between the USA and the Soviet Union between the years of 1945 and 1991, roughly. Um, there's, there's, historians will argue that it started at different times. It could have started in 1946 or 47 or 48 or maybe even 1961 when the Berlin Wall came up. Um, it may have finished in 1989 when the Berlin Wall came down. It may have finished in 1991 when the Soviet Union collapsed. Um, but it's roughly the second half of the 20th century when you had the Cold War. And the key thing there was it was a Cold War. It was not a hot war. The US and Russia, or the Soviet Union, never went to war against each other. They had what were called proxy wars. Yes. The US went to war in Vietnam. Uh, the Soviet Union went to war in Afghanistan. And usually the opposing superpower supported the country that they were at war with. Um, then you had something known as the New World Order. We don't use this term very much anymore. Um, it was used mainly in the 90s to mark the optimism of the end of the Cold War. So the idea that you no longer had these two superpowers who were antagonistic towards each other. You had two countries or two superpowers who were more likely to work cooperatively with each other. Um, two more terms you want to know. A state is a recognised and independent country or nation. And we're going to look into that a little bit more when we look at the issue of state sovereignty. And finally, globalisation is the integration of nations via the breakdown of barriers to trade, communication and travel. Sir. Definition of actors. I've had a question about um, actors in terms of world order. What an actor is, is, is any one of these. It's a country, it's an organization. Um, it's a country, it's an organization, it's sometimes an individual who has influence on the world stage. So that's what we mean when we talk about actors. Just like when we talk about instruments, we don't mean a power drill. We're talking about treaties, um, we're talking about declarations.